it is the end to another month, which means it's time for another video here at All The Yarn. I am Lindsay, your crafter extraordinaire here. Um, I'm lying. I'm not an extraordinary crafter. I am a crafter just like you. I make lots of mistakes. Sometimes I fix them. Sometimes I don't. It's okay. We're really kind of a more of a hot mess crafting express. Yeah, we'll go with that. Anyway, I am Lindsay. If you want to see what I'm up to in between videos, you can follow me at All The Yarn on Instagram. If you typically follow me, you may have noticed that this last month I was radio silence. And that is because I did not feel good. This was a rough month, which sucks because March is my favorite month of the year. It was not a good one, folks. But I'm feeling much better, which is awesome. And I'm recording today, which is even better. You can also see what uh, I've been crafting if you are on Ravelry.com and you can find me there uh, as all the yarn dash. Gotta have the dash. So anyway, let's get to the crafting. Let's see what I've been up to. We're going to start with da, 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 this woven scarf. This is not finished finished because I have not wet blocked it. Uh, so yes, even if you weave, you do need to wet block and I have not. And I have not trimmed my fringe. It's all different lengths, but if you notice, got some crinkles in this. I've never had that before, um, but I have it this time because it was on my loom for so long. Um, I think I've said in a previous podcast that I have uh, woven a scarf in about 24 hours. And that was like a true 24 hour period where like some of that time I was sleeping and I was eating and I was switching out the laundry, you know, uh, <laughs> but in a straight up 24 hour period, I can, I could weave a scarf. That didn't happen this time. This has been on the loom for a long time. So I need to block this to get these little kinks out. And then once it's straight, I'll trim the fringe trim the fringe. Why is that weird to say? Say it out loud to yourself. You'll see. Trim the fringe. It's weird. Anyway, um, but it's basically done. We're going to call it done. Oh, it looks really nice. Maybe I'll just keep it on for now. Maybe, maybe. It's really pretty. Oh, this is nice. Um, okay. So <laughs> I use, there is a free pattern put out by Kromsky called the Once Gain Scarf. And it tells you exactly like how long your warp should be, uh, how many uh, slots to weave through or to, I mean, it tells you everything you need to know for fingering weight scarf, for a worsted weight scarf, um, and kind of how to do all the maths. And this is, uh, I did this on my rigid heddle, this baby right here. I did this on my rigid heddle loom. Uh, it's my favorite thing to weave. I did a little bit of practicing with pickup stitches. So there's just a little bit of a design going on there. Um, the yarn is an oops skein from Lindenwall. So you can't buy this. <laughs> this was a, hey, I've got some leftover dye and I have just enough for one skein. So I'll just throw it all together and see what pops out. But I really like it. This is pretty. So yeah, linden wool yarn, oops, skein, can't buy it. Uh, the pattern is from Kromsky. It's a free pattern. I will put it in the show notes below. It is rigid heddle weaving, which I did on my Ashford 32 inch rigid heddle. Obviously you could do it on a smaller one. Um, yeah, and it's been on the loom for months. I feel like I put it on the loom like last summer sometime cause that's when I made the oops skein. Yeah, <laughs> this needed to be done. So this is my FO. I think we're just going to wear this today because I really like how those colors play together. That I did not put this on ahead of time. I promise. Actually, what's funny is I normally I just start recording with whatever I'm wearing. I was wearing my... Uh, I know it was it was the sweater I made out of Madeline Tosh Vintage Worsted. It's the sweater I was wearing last at my last episode. And I happened to look at my last episode because I couldn't remember where I was at with one of my projects when I last did a video. And I'm like, oh no, like I can't wear, <laughs> I can't wear the same thing that I wore a month ago. 
So I had to change and then I didn't know what I wanted to wear because like now you had to actually put like effort into it and match and blah, 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 blah. But anyway, I went with my Gaby's goodies. This is my grayish test that I did in De Rerum. Antigone is the base. Pamplemus, which somebody told me means grapefruit, which is very fitting. Um, yeah, anyway, did that last summer. This I did not knit. It is just, it's just, you know, I got it from somewhere. I don't know. Anyway, though, but this was hand knit and this was hand woven. Woo! All right. <laughs> We're going to have a good day. <laughs> um, this is my only FO. It is not even like a real FO because it's not like finished, finished. We're going to call it finished. We're going to call it an FO. But let me show you what else I'm working on. All right. Just going to do a little matchy matchy here. Um, my friend Diana gifted me the pattern for Hohi Locatelli's stapled linen top. And the last time I did a video, I was here. Um, so I've put on like another inch, inch and a half ish, you know. Um, it is, I'm using my leftovers from this test knit. This is the, again, De Rerum Antigone Base. No. De Rerum Natura, whoops, yes, De Rerum Natura, Antigon Base, Pamplumus, grapefruit, <laughs> um, yarn, yes, it is 100% linen, and I did have to get an extra skein, I get mine from Fiverr Space, they are a local yarn store, not anywhere near me, but they carry this yarn, so, yeah. Some like fraying up here. Is that a problem? No, it's not. Okay, just gotta weave in my ends probably sooner than later. So anyway, I'm on the body. It's just a shell. There's no sleeves. I'm gonna go round and round and round um, until I can stop. So yep, got an inch, inch and a half progress on that. I'll be honest. I did not feel good this last month. So like the progress is minimal well it's not minimal it feels minimal compared to how much i normally can crank out in a month um but i didn't feel like doing anything like i did not feel good there were days i just didn't even get out of bed like i didn't pick up a craft i just slept so i did not feel good but that's okay because i'm better it's just there's not as much I don't think, do you guys even care? Do you guys care that there's not as much? Like we're all human, right? You guys know that? Okay, great, just checking, just checking. All right, so next, this is my darting in circles. I showed you guys this last time. This is one of, this is where it's like a, um, like a half pie and a half pie and a rectangular block in the middle. And so this is the half that I'd already had done. Y'all, I got, Y'all, I got some yarn management issues here. Let's, let's pause a second. Okay. Yarn managed. Okay. So the last time, oh my gosh, this is one of those things where like, I have long, was it cords? But I've used up all my long, long cords. So this is just all scrunched up. Just is. Okay, so the last time I did a video, this is the other semicircle, and I was somewhere around here because I was working on just the tiny house. I have finished the second semicircle, and I have, oh my heavens, this is, I'm so scared I'm gonna drop stitches. Oh, <laughs> it's scary over here. Okay, oh, um, my, my yarn balls are dropping dropping stitches. We're having a good day. Okay. Um, here we go. So this, just stay here. Okay. So this section, no, this section, <laughs> here is my semicircle. And then I picked up and I'm working on the rectangle. So it would go like, I can find the hole. Here we go. So it would go like this. Okay. So I got the semicircle that'll go in front. Gotta watch how I pick this up. Got my one armhole and I'm knitting my rectangle in between. 
I am a little scared I'm going to run out of yarn. I had extra. I should not run out of yarn. But I'm scared. I ah, Am I the only one? Even though I don't usually get the full extra skein. Um, I haven't checked gauge. That's probably my problem. Ugh, checking gauge, you know. Um, I felt like it was more of a shawl than a garment. So I didn't think gauge mattered. But maybe it does. I don't know. But anyway, as it is, I'm a little nervous. I've got... It's not quite a full skein. This is my Simply Grage. It's very pretty. It knits up very pretty. I should be okay. I don't know why I'm nervous. I should be okay. I have extra, but I'm nervous. And again, it was, she designed it to just be one color. So, you know, me, I'm adding extra stress to my life, making it a fade. Um, I should be okay. Famous last words, right? I should be okay. Um, I'm very, very close to uh, the second armhole. Hopefully I get there. I don't know, I don't know. Uh, I started looking around at the yarn stores that I typically order from just to make sure some is in stock. I have not seen any. Um, but I have faith that I'm gonna have enough and if I don't, I'll find it. Eh, you know, um, yeah, a little nervous. We'll see where it goes. But <clears throat> I have, I mean, I'm excited. I'm sorry, the pattern is by Brianna, Brianna Emmerich. It is a pay for pattern. It is $7. And honestly, I'm, I've made lots of progress. So I'm excited. Got the sleeve, one sleeve down, working my way over to the other. Um, I'm kind of surprised when she said how far apart the, the armholes are because like you knit for so long from your one, from, you knit so far from here and it just doesn't seem like a long way. But I'm going to trust her, right? Always trust your designer. Mostly trust your designer. Mostly trust the designer. We're going to see. I don't know. Sometimes I think... I make projects a lot more complicated than they need to be. Um, sometimes they turn out great though. And then sometimes it's a hot mess. You never know, right? I know I'm not the only person. If you guys had like a, like what's something you modified, you know, and it sounded like a good idea and it was amazing. And then, you know, maybe you modified something else and it didn't work out. I'm not the only one, right? Tell me I'm not the only one. Tell me I'm not alone. All right, next whip. This is my Bumblebee shawl, which is by Verena Kors. It was gifted to me as a birthday present, which, well, oh, shh, I'll tell you later. You have to wait to the end to find out. Okay. All right. This is, <laughs> this is the Bumblebee shawl. Um, let me, oh my gosh. Okay. So when I was last when I last did my episode, last video, whatever, it was like this big. It was just a little baby. I knit this much and I didn't have near the number of stitches that I was supposed to have. And I thought, what in the world? My increases were so off. Like I read the increase and I thought I knew what it said. So then I'm like, this doesn't make sense. So I go back. I read the I read it wrong, so it sucked. So I had to go all the way back to the beginning. Um, because the cast on was fiddly, it was easier to just rip the whole thing out and start again. So that's what I did. And this is your Madeline Tosh BFL Light Fragile. And then the purple is another oops skein by Linden Wool. And you know what? That's that's the back. Here we go. Let's look at the front, shall we? Can you see? Kind of. It's a little bit lacy, not really. Yeah, there we go. All right. So, yeah. Um, it's kind of like this purple part has just enough texture so that it's not boring, but it's one of those things where you easily memorize it. It's um, it's technically an eight row repeat, but the wrong side rows are always the same. And 
two of the right side rows are always the same. So you just need to remember where you're at with the two patterned rows within that eight row repeat. Super easy. I really like it. I love that kind of repeat where it's like, oh yeah, I got this. I can remember it. I say that and then like I messed up. <laughs> I always think I got this and then I don't. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> it's funny because it's true. Uh, so <laughs> this is my little marker to remind me that this is the right side. Uh, I needed it more for this because you had a right row or right size, right side increase. Um, now I've got this here, so I don't really need this anymore because I can tell which side is my right side. But anyway, it's really coming along. And I love that my purple matches those little pops of purple in that fragile colorway really, really well. Like it just pulls them right out. Um, in person, it looks really pretty. Hopefully it looks just as nice on camera. Anyway, so this is my Linden Wool Oops. Can't buy it because I made a mistake. It happens. All right. What else have we got? I did not mention. I had um, cast this on actually last month, but I had just done like... I just done this much and I completely forgot about it when I recorded so it didn't make it into last month's video but technically I had cast it on. This is a pattern by Knit Love Wool Jennifer Steingas. Still can't say that last name but Jennifer's amazing so hopefully she doesn't hate me for it. Um, this is her Sonray. Sunray. S-O-N-R-A-E. It'll be linked in the show notes below. Look at that color work. Oh, man. Isn't that pretty? Oh, it's so pretty. I am making this sweater out of cloudborn fibers. I know this. Merino Alpaca Sport. So this is, this is Silver Heather, and this is actually a leftover from the gray cardigan. Oh, do I remember it? I made it last year. I podcast, I, it was on one of my videos, my early videos. Um, miles and miles of ribbing. <laughs> That's all I, I wear the crap out of that sweater though. Oh my gosh, I wear that. It's a great cardigan to just, oh, I have it everywhere. I can find it anywhere around the house. It could be in any room because I wear it all the time. But this is a leftover and then it's about time to switch skeins. This is all I got left of my blue right now. <laughs> I've got lots of skeins. It's just getting rid, I know, I, my yarn management. But this is Midnight Heather, just like a navy. Um, yeah, I'm excited though. It is, probably my most fiddly uh, color work sweater that I've done because like other color work sweaters seem to have more or maybe just the last couple that I've done they had kind of more of a um, I don't know like like you just knew where it was going whereas this one it's a gorgeous design like I am so glad I'm making this sweater it's gorgeous um I, I mean, I, I am not regretting that at all, but the the way the, you know, like the colors play together, like there's no remembering anything. I am lucky if I can remember what I am supposed to do for an entire row. Like it just, it is more fiddly than most of the sweaters that I've knit. And that, I mean, even like it doesn't matter. I'm just glad that it's only two colors because definitely three colors is a lot more fiddly. But even with that, like it just, it's so, here, let's, let's just show it one more time. Like it's, oh, that's my scarf. There we go. It is so gorgeous. But, um, it, I don't know, like my, my brain's not like, 
catching on with what's going on. <laughs> you know, and maybe it's because I've been sick. Maybe that's the reason I'm struggling here. Um, look, I just fixed my yarn. Oh, I think I just dropped stitches. I did not. It's okay. Anyway, uh, my needles, I don't know if you noticed, they don't match because the, the blue one is my smaller needle from, I just dropped my yarn. I, it's okay. <sighs> the blue one is a small, is the smaller one from when I cast on. And then I just switched this guy because someone said that if your main needle that you're knitting onto is the right size and your needle that you're knitting off of is a smaller size, your yarn moves more easily um, in the round. I don't know if I've even noticed a difference, but I was lazy and didn't switch both yarns. So, I mean, excuse me, I didn't switch both needles. I just switched the one and I've not had a problem with it. And I don't know, maybe I'll do that from now on because it's nice and I'm in the round. So this is always the needle that the yarn's going on to. So this has been a lot of fun, a little bit fiddly, but it's nice going around. Even if it is a bit fiddly, it's nice to go in the round. Um, that staple linen is my mindless knit right now. And the darting in circles is mindless, but I don't know if it's just been a minute since I've had to purl, <laughs> but it's a very long, I'm catching these, I've got to cut this fringe, man. Um, but, <laughs> um, what was I saying? Purling, yeah, those, the, the rows are long and it's a lot of purling. So I don't usually mind purling, but, it's been a lot of stockinette. I mean, it's a it's a big it, it, it's a big rectangle of stockinette, you know. And the pie shawl, the half pie is stockinette. So there's just a lot of purling involved. I've been making a ton of sweaters where I've not been purling a lot. So it just a eh, little change. Um, it's been nice to have the the different projects going though because hey, what am I, am I in the mood for? I can sit for a second. Let's put another couple rows on this Sunray sweater. Or I can't think right now. I need to just chill. All right, let's grab this, the Hohe stapled linen top, put a couple rounds on that. Or, hey, I, I can chill, but you know what? I'm, I'm in a really decent mood. So let's do some, let's do some purling. Why not? It is nice to have the different projects going. I did not, so I did not put any rows on my heart sweater. I have to be in a good place for that. Like even more of a good place than working on my Sandra sweater. Um, lace knitting is no joke. So I think that sweater is just, you know, I may not get it done this year and I am okay with that. I just want to keep making progress. So even if I just put a couple of rows on it uh, in the next month, I'm okay with that. Um, but I did not this month. I did not do a lot. I mean, I know, it, I know I did some crafting, obviously, but I did not do a lot of crafting this month and psh, it'll all be there next month. So I do want to make sure I do my attitude of gratitude. I knew exactly which skein I was going to be grabbing this month. This is by Suburban Stitcher. Look at that. I don't know. Well, it wasn't from last year. So it may have been from 2019, possibly 2018. But Suburban Stitcher and I were both born in March. Woohoo! Which means I'm celebrating my birthday, which is why March is my favorite month out of the year. And then this one just sucked. But that's okay because I'm feeling better. And as of today, it has not been my birthday yet, which means I'm going to feel great on my birthday. So anyway, uh, a couple years ago, um, Suburban Stitcher said, put out on face or excuse me, Instagram, Hey, I'm going to do a special mystery skein for my birthday. Um, you know, it's going to be released. I mean, she, it was like being released right then, you know? And so I was like, Oh, Hey, it's my birthday too. I'm going to grab some of this. Um, I am not typically a pink fan. I know I'm wearing pink. Oh my gosh. What is that? Every time I say I don't like pink, I'm like either knitting pink or wearing pink. What is that? Anyway, this is not that this is coral. It's coral. It's not pink. It doesn't count. This is pink, but, um, I emotionally connect with my yarn. <laughs> I do. 
And so because it was birthday yarn, uh, it does absolutely remind me of a birthday cake. It has coppery gold, what does she call it? Gold, yep, gold Stellina in it. Um, I love this. I love this skein. I don't know when I will ever knit this up just because as it is in its skein, it reminds me of a birthday cake. And uh, it, every time I look at it, I'm like, that's right, Suburban Stitcher and I are celebrating our birthday in March. I, she's never met me. She doesn't know who I am. And that's okay. It's okay. We're part of the community. It counts. So <laughs> this is my attitude of gratitude. Suburban Stitcher. Birthday something. I don't know what that word is. Not a clue. Ah, I hate that. I want It's a mystery now and I got to figure it out. Whatever. She and I are celebrating our birthday this month. I love birthdays. I love birthdays. I love this skein because to me, it's a birthday present. Yes, to myself, but I feel like Suburban Stitcher made the colorway for me. She doesn't know who I am, but I still feel that way. So I love this. It's my Celebrate March birthday skein. I, I just, I love birthdays. However, I'm not so good with anniversaries. Apparently last month was my anniversary one year, and I kind of forgot all about it. So, woohoo! I've been doing this a year. What? I know it doesn't feel like a year, but it has been. It has. So, woohoo! Happy one year anniversary to moi. So, yeah, anyway, so we're keeping this video short. Uh, I really appreciate you guys joining me. And if you had a good time, please remember to let me know by liking, subscribing, putting a little comment down below. I always appreciate it. I read every one, I promise. So anyway, y'all take care. Have a great month and I'll see you in April.